Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, today's uh, video is based on this set that I picked up at, um, you can pick them up at Glands, Barnes & Noble. Um, and this one is Creative Stamping, and this is issue 60 in front of my face and this has this wonderful fall giant stamp set and it's got everything from creepy things up here in the corner to it's got uh, lovely sort of distressed leaves and birds and um, speckly things and lovely sentiments um, great ones I'm wishing you a speedy recovery happy birthday good luck let's go nuts um, and lots of little filler bits here if you want to make your own background papers it's got a hedgehog uh, a pumpkin and at the end of this video so stick around because I'm going to show you some examples that I have made I have like three other cards than the one I did today that I want to show you just so you can get some ideas variety of ways to use this stamp set so a great variety of things well worth your money not to mention um, some great ideas I think I'm a little close here some great ideas obviously to use your uh, stamp sets I'm gonna do the hedgehog on this one and I'm doing it on some vanilla cardstock wanted to use these papers from Authentique, sort of distressed, leafy, beautiful browns and oranges. Well, Harvest, appropriate. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna stamp on him and then I'm gonna use some Tombow watercolor markers and I picked out some autumnal colors there to go ahead and try to color him in. So let me get the stamping platform. Ink that you're able to color with. I'm going to turn this sideways because I've got my mermaid markers there. Um, no matter how much I clean my craft room, there's never enough room. Um, so we're going to go sideways. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down there. And I'm going to put him right in the middle. You might hear some vacuuming. My husband's doing the fall cleaning while I'm down here crafting. <laughs> Um, he's much better at that sort of thing than I am. <laughs> he's very useful and I'm very ornamental. Alright, so I'm going to use some archival ink because I want to be able to um, color without smudging my little hedgehog. It's a great card for a guy or a girl. Uh, my sister and brother-in-law love hedgehogs, so great for someone like that one to color because it's got lots of different little things there so lighter I think I'm gonna go I think this is one I want to use here yeah so I'm just gonna kind of start coloring and you can do shading techniques you can keep it as simple as you want this doesn't need to be uh, you know you're got a master's degree in coloring with markers I mean <laughs> you know just have fun with it kind of coming in with the extra little shading bit there I'm just going to go ahead and follow the direction of the stamp in the little hairs that he has. Uh, got a couple shades of a greeny, sort of olivey, a greeny family, and then I'm going to kind of mix and match because this is fall and there's going to be different color leaves, right? So we're just using a pile of leaves there. Um, I need to grab an orange. And some reds maybe. Some leaves I'm even sort of variegating because that's how they are, you know, if you ever look at them. They're like half turned, you know, <laughs> sometimes. Um, there he is, and that, you know, you could see that, that anybody could have done what I just did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bigger oval or whatever shape you're going to use and I'm going to cut that out. I was talking away and my camera wasn't recording, so <laughs> which is always lovely. I have here a 6 by 11 folded in half piece of cardstock and then I have my layering pieces here cut to just slightly under that when they are glued together. Um, that was annoying. I was going away here and looked up and it was a black screen. Oh, it's so wonderful. All right, then we're going to pop our little hedgehog up on some foam adhesive. Okay. 
All right. And I'm going to center him right there. Of course, you're going to need a card blank in here cut to just like a quarter inch below that so that you can write out of that same vanilla there, which I'll do off camera. You don't need me to do that. And then we can pick out some pretty ribbons and things that go with this. glue that on. I'm going to use some fabric tack for that because whenever I use a textile I really like to use this because Michigan changes seasons every day. <laughs> so we need an adhesive that can stand up to the test. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the corner over here and hold that down for a little bit and then we can get some sequins and things going. Alright, I'm pilfering through my Nugo drops. I've got Nugo crystal drops in buttermilk, which is a nice neutral creamy one. And then I also have dandelion yellow. And then we can go ahead, I put it on, I tested it on a piece of paper first, just in case something was weird about it. Alright. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start putting some little drops here and there. My battery's going low here. I've got a lot of videos on here since I came back from vacation. Um, and then this creamy buttermilk. This is a favorite. If you can get a hold of that. Now you do, a little air in there, you do want to let these dry, but look how they beautifully dome. I don't know if you can see that. They dome really well. And if you let them dry, if you have the patience to sort of let them do their thing, they will really add some fun elements to your card. And you can make them different sizes and different shapes and so forth. I'm gonna put a little gold. Um, Stickles. Just to kind of do its thing there. So I've got them in the corners. You could put them on here. You could use a pen and glitter him up. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, you do want to put the liner in there. Don't forget. I'm being very careful because I'm going to, they've got like a perfect dome going on. I don't want to stick my finger in it. But I love how he turned out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you these other cards really quickly while that one is drying. Say bye bye Mr. Hedgehog. Um, you could do some rose gold copper embossing with some of the leaf elements that are on there. Isn't that pretty? Uh, I'm going to finish that but this is a card blank that you can put on and some pink and some rich frazzleberry there and that gold copper embossing powder so you can make your own pattern. I've got another paper. This is by Paige Evans. This is digital paper. And on some vellum, I took the stamp in the stamp set and put thank you in that same copper, rose gold copper ish um, embossing powder. And then I made a little flower and fun fur and some ribbon on there like that. I'm going to mount that on a card and I put some. Um, like a glitter embossing paste on there and then let me show you one more all right and lastly I made this sort of rectangular card and I white embossed the pumpkin from the set and then I used that as a resist to go ahead and do some distress blending and some water drops I used some sequins and some Nuvo drops and I used the little quote and I layered it on a few different layers of color uh, the rich raspberry again, the orange, and then that is on a white card base. So that's a card ready to go. So lots of fun ways to use your product. Get my stuff out of the way here. Bring my drying hedgehog in. I love how he turned out. Actually, I had a different plan about what to do with that, and it just ended up liking that like that. So anyway, hope you enjoy that. Thanks, so guys, for watching today. Have a great day.